Next, we're going to create a page that's going to house our video. Even though it's going to be a pop-up, we actually need a page to bring up in the pop-up window. So at this time, I can go ahead and choose File New. So it's going to be an HTML page. And I'll go ahead and save this as video. Okay. And let's go ahead and add some video elements in here. So if you go down to this uh, Flash option here, you'll see Flash Video. And we're going to be using a progressive download video. This, is, this means that the video actually resides on our server. Okay, we'll browse for this file. It's in the Flash folder. So we'll go to the, the Vase video here. We'll say OK. And at this point, you can choose different controllers. Okay, I'm just going to choose the very simple, this Halo skin. I'll hit Detect Size. So it's going to detect that's the size we're going to have. And in total, this is how big it's going to be. We want it to auto play. And this is the message that users will see if they don't have Flash. So that's fine. We'll say OK. And there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and center this on our page. So I'll just hit center. OK. And I'll hit enter. And then underneath it, I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to make it kind of decorative, just a couple of those little arrows or the brackets. close this window. So something very simple and um, easy to use. Okay, I'm going to link this to a JavaScript. Now, you can actually type your JavaScript directly into the link window there, into this little link uh, form window. So this is how you'll do it. It's JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript colon window dot close. And now you use open and close parentheses since we're going to just close this one semicolon to end it. That's all there is to it. That's actually a link now. One final step that we'll do is actually link this page to our style sheet. So we'll just open up attached style sheet inside of our uh, CSS palette. Okay, We'll go ahead and browse for this style sheet. Hit OK. And there you go. We'll actually take this uh, bit of text here and we'll set that to the menu. So we got all of that, set it to menu. So now we'll actually have a rollover effect, and this is the same color menu that's being used on all of our other pages. So just makes for a much unified, much more unified final result. So we'll just close that and you say yes, we want to save it. Now let's link that page to this button. So I'll again go to my behaviors, and I'm going to choose open browser window. And we need to tell it what file we want. So we'll go up to the video file that we just made. And this is where we're going to tell the system how wide and tall we want this um, to be. So I'll say 355. We'll start off with that. And we'll do maybe um, 315 on height. We'll just test this out see what we get. Video name, I'm going to call this video player. That's good enough. And at any time you want the menu bar or you want the location bar, or maybe the status bar, you can just activate that and it will turn it on. Okay, I'm going to have all of them turned off so it's nice and clean. All right, we'll save that. Hit Control S. Let's preview this. Okay, see what we get. If I click on these, I get nice feedback. If I hit this button, it's causing an error on Internet Explorer for some reason. Let's um, let's publish this to the internet and make sure that that error isn't because we're just pulling this file locally. All right, so what I'll do is I'll say um, we're going to just go ahead and publish this whole site because we're about halfway through with it. So I'll select the site folder up here and I'll hit the blue arrow. Yes, I want to put the entire site up on the server. Let's give it a little bit of time to kind of work itself out. All right, so as that uh, as it's working, I'm going to actually just open up our website here, dtwebdesign.com, and it looks like my let's see if our index page has been updated yet. 
So let's just give that a second to upload. There we go. Our index page just came up there. So we'll refresh this now. There we go. We see our page. There's gallery. There we go. There's our video. So because we were playing with this locally, it didn't like the fact that we were trying to do a pop-up locally. So having it on the server, it popped up just fine. Now, the height is off a little bit here. So I'm going to add um, about another 5 pixels to this side over here and maybe another 10 pixels, 20 pixels down below. So let's go back to Dreamweaver for that. Okay, we can go back to our behaviors. Just double click, that'll let you edit. So we'll say 360 for the width and maybe 330 for the height. All right, at this point, I want to send this back to the server, but I don't need to send the whole site. I'll just click on gallery and um, post that. So I sent the gallery page back out. Let's actually reload this. There we go. Looks like we still need a little bit more down there. But I think you're starting to get the hang of how you can send your files to the server. Let's just say 45. So I'll give it an extra 15 pixels. That should be way more than enough. So we'll save it. Down here we'll go to uh, gallery. Post it to the server. No need to send the de dependent files which would be all these little graphics. We don't need all those there since we already just sent them. All right, we'll refresh. Click once. There we go. That looks a lot better. So we can close it. That looks really good. All right, just a couple little tweaks that I want to make. Let's open up this video file. Let's put in some code here. So this is um, video of Klaus. And it looked like uh, part of this wasn't a link, so let's just set all this to none. So for some reason, part of this has gotten placed on a code. And trying to find where we got messed up here, so let's see. There we go. I'm just going to add that style to the div tag. There we go. So that way it's kind of unified. We'll just save that and close it. All right. So as you see, we've got a lot of stuff happening. And it was it's really easy to put this stuff together if you just take it one step at a time. Next, we're going to take a uh, kind of a turn, and we're going to put together a form for our site. Now, the form, I'm, I'm only going to be able to take you halfway with this form because the script that you need to make this work has to be on your server and uh, every server configuration is unique so it's very difficult for me to tell you exactly the steps but I'll take you pretty much most of the way and show you how to set up your uh, forms.